Hi Virgo, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-August to the end of August 2021 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is general so that means it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs or if you want you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box and in this general reading the roles can be reversed. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on with you. What is the overall energy for the second half of August? All right, and we have conclusion. All right. Well, it speaks for itself. <laughs> There's a conclusion of something, all right, or things are heading towards some sort of a conclusion here. So let's see, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of August. Of course, this could be for you, this could be for your person, this could be for the both of you. All right, let's see. So for your energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups and the Sun. All right, so we also have Leo um, showing up here. You're really focused on something here. I feel like you are putting in either energy or a lot of work into a connection that you feel is making you very happy or that has the potential to make you happy. So I still don't see where this conclusion is. Let's see. <clears throat> For your person, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the world. All right, there is that conclusion. Um, I feel like this is a conclusion of either a third party situation, possibly, things moving in that direction. I do feel like there's still a little bit of, of a delay or still um, certain things that need to be worked out, if that is the case. For others of you, the case here could be that it is some kind of a collaboration, all right, that is concluding. We'll see when we clarify. Let's get the message for you here. The Two of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so we have your element showing up here, all right, as the Hermit. It almost feels like there's a decision here that needs to be made or that somebody is actually making the decision to figure things out. That's how this is just coming through, figuring things out. So there's a little bit of figuring things out from your end, there's a little bit of figuring things out from their end as well. And there's a conclusion in the mix. Possibly for some of you this could be a conclusion of, of waiting for a collaboration to take place. So we're gonna have to clarify. But whatever the case, I feel like the seeds are being planted here. Um, something is being organized. Something is just being figured figured out. And this is coming in with a lot of, a lot of thinking, possibly, that has already happened. <coughs> All right, so let's see that Eight of Pentacles for you. And for some of you, this could even be that you are just really focused on your work or just on making things work for you, not necessarily for love, but I do see that there is a connection here as well, a specific one. Um, all right, so for the Eight of Pentacles, we have, ooh, the Nine of Pentacles and the Chariot. All right, yeah, so again, I feel like this is a lot of your energy playing out here where you are standing strong. You are feeling good about your own self and about the direction that you are taking. For some of you, maybe you are taking a new direction when it comes to work. I know this is a love reading, but this is just what's showing up here because this might actually be related to what is going on with you in in a love situation, all right? Because maybe this work that you are doing or the work that you are focusing on, which might not even be related to your career, for some of you, it could just be um, <clears throat> working on yourself and putting a lot of energy and focus in that because that's what I'm seeing here with this Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like whatever that is for you, it's like really taking off. Let me see the Two of Cups.
And for some of you, it could even just be self-worth, you know? Really focused on that. All right, so we have the Page of Cups and the Six of Swords. All right, so it feels like, you know, you, you have been very open, possibly even to this person. I feel like you may have just allowed them to know how it is that you feel about them. So it, it's almost as if, you know, your offer kind of stands or you're, you have been transparent about your feelings to them in one way or another. But at the same time, I feel like you're not, you're not really hanging around in a way where you're allowing that to um, make you feel pain. I feel like there, that whatever was going on here between you and this person, you're kind of moving away from the past energy, from whatever it is that was happening in the past that was causing you pain specifically, and you're moving towards finding that light, finding that warmth, finding that happiness and fulfillment within your own self by focusing on you. So it's pretty positive here. I feel like you are right now, you are in this state where you're feeling good. You might still feel like, you know, um, you're still in the process of moving away from whatever it was that um, caused you pain in this or even just the connection itself, but it's still there. You still, you still have these feelings for this person. You still feel the connection. You still want this. Like I said, and, and I do feel that some in some way indirectly, this might even, whatever it is that you're doing, it might even be opening up that door for this, for this connection, possibly for some of you. Let's see. And for others of you, you're just really focused on your own self. Let's see the Three of Pentacles for them. We have ooh, the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. All right, so this is somebody where, you know, they're involved in, in something else here. Um, could be anything. Whatever that is, so maybe, I mean, because I'm getting like work-related things for you, Possibly some work-related things for them. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. So it could be that even um, you were working together with this person, that there was some kind of a collaboration. <clears throat> Whatever the case, I feel like this person was really or has been kind of stuck in their own head. There's a little bit of confusion, a little bit of... kind of wanting, wanting to have, okay, I feel like this is just going to be a message for a specific group of you, some of them just wanting to have a lot of options or, or just still wanting to hold on to a lot of different things, um, but in a way where these things were keeping them stuck, I feel like it was a way of dealing with their own fear. In one way or another. Let me see the Three of Wands. All right, we have the sun showing up for them as well, so more Leo. Um, and I feel like the sun has been showing up a lot, so this could even be the Lion's Gate um, playing out here. <clears throat> Just really, you know, um, pushing people, pushing everybody to take action, to have courage, to move towards their goals, to move towards their happiness, as well as still being in the Leo season. All right, so yeah, the sun and the knight of pentacles. All right, so this person, like I said, um, there, it does feel like there's a little bit of slow movement. It's still a little bit of, of a delay here of kind of thinking about things, trying to figure out exactly how everything should be and just kind of fantasizing about the future is the way that this is coming in. Um, I do see them actually 
getting on the right path and moving towards that sun, which is what you're moving towards as well. So it's kind of like this is coming into alignment, but I feel like you're there first. And this person is kind of, you know, a few steps behind you, but moving in that same direction, just a, a little bit more slowly than you. This could even be healing and health and moving towards healing and health. For them let's see the world because something is being concluded here they're moving towards that completion towards that conclusion all right so obviously for each of them the situation is going to be slightly different all right um, because it's the reading is general clarifying the world we have the four of pentacles justice and the Queen of Swords. So whatever that situation is that they are trying to conclude here, whatever it is, um, it's something that has been keeping them stuck in a state of, as I said, confusion, almost not really seeing the situation clearly, seeing it as, um, I, I'm even getting like they were possibly using work or using some kind of another partnership or collaboration to, to pretty much cover up their fear, what it is that was truly scaring them. And this was keeping them trapped. This is what they are still thinking about, um, but slowly getting on the right path, moving towards that, moving towards that sun. But like I said, there's a little bit of, of waiting here. It's still kind of like, okay, thinking about it and beginning to take the first steps in that direction towards that conclusion. Now, so whatever that conclusion is about, it's something that they were holding on to very, very tightly. And again, another Pentacles card showing up here. Um, again, it could have to do with work. It could have to do with work, but I'm mostly getting that it was like stubbornly holding on to something And now being ready to make a major decision and it's going to be the right decision for this all right and being just having a lot of clarity like look at that like we're starting this row off with the seven of cups and finishing off with the with the queen of swords that's a lot of clarity and a lot of um just being really smart about this decision being very um clear about what it is that they are doing so I feel like this is actually what they're moving towards. I don't know when it's manifesting because I do feel like it's a gradual process, but they're in that process, all right? They're in that process. Heading straight towards that, that conclusion. All right, let's see the two of pentacles here. The lovers. Okay, yeah, so definitely for some of you, it could be a, a third party situation, all right? Um, we do have a couple of indicators of that. It doesn't have to be. This is somebody really trying to manage though, okay? Trying to juggle multiple um, energies, multiple things in their life including a love connection. And so I feel like this is what is happening here. It might be difficult. There's still a little bit of difficulty trying to find that balance of, okay, you know, how exactly do I conclude this in order to have that? Or, you know, what does this conclusion even mean in certain cases? And if, if it is a clean cut conclusion, which that's what I'm seeing here, okay, well, you know, sometimes there's always like a, like leftover tasks or leftover things or um, loose ends that need to be tied up and so, or just more responsibilities. And so I feel like there's a lot of um, juggling as to how to do that, how to bring all of that into balance, how to manage that see the hermit so yeah and I'm pretty much getting that there's a lot of deep thinking about this we have the five of pentacles thinking about the losses um, thinking about what needs to be compromised I'm definitely feeling like this is your person and not so much for you but obviously take it as it resonates so let's see the seven of pentacles 
some of you could definitely be dealing with another earth sign, by the way. We do have quite a few pentacles here. All right, and we have the fool. All right, yeah, so things are being organized, as I said, figuring things out. The results are not here just yet. As I said, it is taking a little bit of time. The seven of pentacles does talk about, you know, waiting for the fruit. Um, But, but the steps are being taken, all right? The seeds are being planted, and this is going to involve a new beginning here with the fool, all right? Taking a leap of faith, possibly, or just really starting over, having a conclusion and then starting over. Completely new direction. That is what is being figured out here. All right, Virgo, so let's see. Final oracle message for you. All right, and we have the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So yeah, take that as it resonates, but I feel like, you know, you are safe. If you are feeling like, you know, the way that you are moving forward here in your own, um, in your own journey moving towards that sun, sometimes it can be easy to just feel a little bit insecure. And I feel like this is a reminder from spirit. No, you know, you are safe and if this um, resonates for you about your loved ones being safe, then take that as well. Okay? Somebody needs to hear that for sure. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for watching. Much love.